Hello and welcome to the Bloody Mess UFPS integration tutorial. In this video, I'm going to go over how to set up um, the projectile weapons of UFPS to use um, the Bloody Mess uh, damage uh, system and dismemberment. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is uh, drag our players and enemy into the uh, scene. So I'm going to go to the UFPS base, content, prefabs, players, and I'm going to take the hero HD weapons and bring it in. We're going to do a few setup things here with the hero HD weapons. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the, uh, the inventory and make sure we have all the weapons we want to use there. So the pistol and the knife are already there, so that's fine. But I'm going to give them a bunch more ammo. And then we're going to drag in the uh, assault rifle. Let's go ahead and give it a good amount of ammo. And then we're going to bring in the shotgun. And let's give it some ammo. Okay. Next thing we need to do is uh, we need to take a look at our uh, projectiles themselves. As you'll see that on your screen it'll probably say it won't have this shotgun bullet. Instead you'll have pistol bullet and machine gun bullet. And if you go to shotgun you and you come down to the projectile it will say pistol bullet like it does right here. What you need to do is you need to create this shotgun bullet prefab. Easy way to do that. Drag the pistol bullet out. Name it shotgun bullet and then you can drag that back in here to create your prefab. And the reason we do this is so that our different weapons can have different uh, dismemberment settings. So if you want the shotgun to dismember all everything, you can set its weapon type to 2. Pistol bullet weapon type to 0, it can't dismember anything. So that's we're just kind of setting up how to make that work correctly and you can once it's a prefab you can go ahead and delete it we need to go through and make sure all of our projectiles are set to the right thing assault rifle machine gun bullet shotgun needs to be the shotgun bullet shotgun bullet come on That's strange. I'll just do it again. Drag it in. Shotgun bullet. Drag that up. Delete it from here. Go to shotgun. Go down to its uh, projectile. Right here. There we go. Now we have the shotgun bullet in there. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is if you open up or click on one of these, we need to uh, make some changes to the hit scan bullet script along with a couple other scripts to make the system work correctly. So let's go ahead and open up that in Modern Develop. And then we're going to open up two other scripts. Scroll down to where it says Public Int Layer Mask. Go ahead and right click on it, go to declaration, oh, sorry, go right click on the VP layer, go to de declaration, and it'll open up the, uh, the VP layer class, which is where it sets all its standard layers. Uh, 
and then we need to go to the bloody mess folders go to bloody mess scenes positional healing scripts shoot All right, those are three things we need open first let's go ahead and uh, go to VP layer and we're going to uh, add a couple layers to their to their matrix the first thing we're going to do is you'll notice that some of these are uh, incorrect <laughs> um, if you want to use it with a uh, bloody mess so what we're going to do is open up our layer and tags editor project settings tags and layers you can see that I have limb ragdoll and enemy at 21 22 and 23 and then I have player set at 11 which is fine but 21 22 and 23 or actually it's just 21 and 23 that need to be changed so here's what we're going to do they have an enemy on here already so I'm going to take enemy right here and I'm going to set this to 23 like it is in uh, In bloody mess. Movable object. I'm gonna leave. Put that at 20. And I'm gonna add a public const int uh, limb equals 21. And then we're going to put this remote player and put it on 25. Now we need to go to our bullet blockers. And you look to see that layer mask for ray casting away from local player, ignoring the player itself, and all non solid solid objects, including rigid body pickups. The things it's gonna ignore is bullet blockers. Or sorry, is local player, debris, ignore ray cast, ignore bullets, trigger, water, and pickup. We're going to add one to this. I need to make a upward line. We're going to add enemy to this. So it's going to ignore the uh, enemy. Make sure we get the syntax right there. The external blockers, same thing. One, actually, we can just take this right here. Copy it down. Actually, let's go ahead and leave this one out. Okay. Now let's go to our hit scan bullet script. We're going to add a couple lines here. We're going to add a public int weapon type equals zero. 
and then we're going to scroll down. to where the damage is calculated. <clears throat> We're going to grab our shoot our script our shooting or our damage script from the uh the shoot.cs. Go ahead and just copy it over. <clears throat> Put it underneath this else statement. Now we need to make a couple changes. First change we have to make is to this line right here because it won't work. We need to uh, set the layer mask equals If you want, you can grab this M source right here. Actually, you just need to grab this part right here. But I'm going to type it out just so. We do VP underscore layer equals. It's dot, sorry. <laughs> dot um, limb. So we're looking at the collider, and if it equals VP layer limb, then we're going to continue on. We need to set the direction. The direction is the collider transfer position. And then we're going to say the camera dot main dot transform position. Now we're going to check to make sure that what we've hit has the limb collider, and then we're going to send the damage in through with a, through a function. And uh, to get this to work correctly, we need to have our damage correct, which we don't. Uh, UFPS uses damage with a capital D, so we need to change that to a capital D. That's fine, that's fine, direction we just did. And then we need to change the main camera transform position to camera dot main dot transform position. Alright. Now we can hit build. Convert. Build. See if we got any errors. No errors. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, drag our uh, bloody mess example character in. So we're going to go to the prefabs of bloody mess. Go to the dude. Bring the dude in, Let's rotate the dude to look at him. Let's look at his settings. I'm going to leave all this to default, but I do want to go down here and set the weapon type head to zero, this to one, that to two, or actually both of these to, yeah, to two. I'm going to set, it's going to be one, one, two, that's what I want. Then you have to go up to the top, hit apply so that that'll uh, stay the way it is. And he should have all of his layers and tags entered correctly, which should be done for you if when you uh, bring in Bloody Mess. <clears throat> okay, now let's uh, go to our, our uh, hit scans for each of our actual projectiles. So let's go to our projectiles. The pistol bullet has a weapon type of zero right here. And we're going to set the damage to 30. The machine gun bullet has a weapon type of one. And we're going to set its damage to 30. And the shotgun bullet has a weapon type of two.
Sorry, I lost my uh, um, microphone there for the shotgun bullets, weapon type to two, and it's damaged to thirty as well. All right, let's uh, take that and let's go see what happens if we press play. We can switch weapons. And it hits him. Now let's see if we can dismember with a weapon that will dismember. Yep. Try again. With the shotgun. Forces are a little wonky. You may want to look at how forces applied by um, UFPS and maybe turn it off and apply your own force using the event system. But otherwise, it looks like it's working correctly. Let's go ahead and check our physics settings just to make sure. Yep, enemy limb should not connect with the player. Yeah, everything's right. All right, so you have um, a working uh, UFPS with Bloody Mess. You can actually uh, go in and uh, change what layers will add the bullet marks like this so that bullet marks aren't added to uh, Bloody Mess characters or to like the triggers on Bloody Mess. It's kind of up to you. But anyways, that about does it. Um, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.